So here we will find out how to find the five number summary, the interquartile range, and draw a box plot from the data. Um, in this data, we happen to have Babe Ruth's home runs that he hit on all the years for each year he hit them. Um, and our job is to put them in order and find the five number summary. They're actually already in order, so we don't need to do that, but I am going to rewrite them down so that I can work with my numbers. Notice there are four 46s. Oops, sorry about that. Let's change that number to 44, 54. Now to find the median, you start on the outside, work your way in until you find get to the middle number. In this case, there happens to be two middle numbers right here, so the median actually falls right in between them. When there are two numbers, the way you find the median is you take the two numbers, add them together, and divide by two. In this case, of course, the answer is 46. So the median is 46, and of the five number summary, that's the first one you want to find. So now that we have the median, we can find the lower quartile. So to find the lower quartile, you actually only work with the numbers in the first that are below the median. So lower quartile or quartile one, you again find the median of these numbers. You use this 46 because the median is actually above that 46. It's in between those two. So this 46 is actually below the median. So we will use that one. And then again, we go to the center. So my lower quartile, or Q1, is between these two numbers. So Q1 would be 41 plus 46 divided by 2, which happens to equal 43.5. To find Q3 for the upper quartile, you again do something very, very similar, except you only use the numbers that are above the median. Again, the median is this line right here, so the, quart the upper quartile will include all of these numbers, including that 46. Then again, you just start on your outside, work your way in till you get to the middle number. Again, in this case, it's these two numbers here, so Q3 is between those two. So Q3, in this case, happens to equal 49 plus 54, again divided by 2, which is equal to 51.5. So now all that's left is to actually write the five number summary. The five number summary is the minimum, which is in this case 11. The Q1, which is 43.5. The median, which is 46. Q3, which in this case is 51.5, and the max, which is equal to 59. Make sure you label them. Don't just assume everybody knows what these five numbers stand for, so make sure you label them as to what they stand for. Now to find the interquartile range. The interquartile range is just Q3 minus Q1. So in this case it would be 51.5 minus 43.5, which is actually equal to 8. Now the last thing to do is to draw a box plot. So the box plot involves these five numbers, so we want to remember what those five numbers are. And we're going to go do the box plot. Notice our smallest number was 51, I'm sorry, was 11, and our highest number is 59. I have a number line here. You want to make sure you set your number line first with your scale and then fit your doc plot, sorry, box plot to that scale. Um, so I might count, let's say, let's say this is 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 seems to work. So you want to make sure your lowest value will fit on the scale and your highest value will fit on the scale. 
which will happen here. Our median in this case, again, was 46. So find out where 46 is. Come somewhere above the scale. Draw a vertical line. Doesn't really matter how long it is. Just a nice vertical line right about 46. Um, the reason I draw a vertical line, if you remember back here when we did this, I drew a vertical line to represent that median. It's kind of the same idea. Just represents the location of that median. Now we can draw Q1. Q1 was 43.5, which is about here. And so again, I want to draw a vertical line. I want this vertical line to be in the exact same length and kind of same height as the other one. And again, the vertical line kind of represents that division that we saw when we found the Q3. And then 51.5 seems to be about here. And then we draw those. Now, Notice in this case, Q1, Q3, and in reality, the median are not actually data values, so that's why we kind of drew the vertical lines. We now will draw the median, I'm sorry, the minimum. Um, and I'm gonna put a dot, because it actually was a data value, so I'm gonna put a dot, and I'm gonna make that dot kind of divide this vertical line right in half. And then I'm gonna also put a dot for the maximum. Again, same height as the other one, dividing it up. Now this is called a box plot because we're actually going to connect these lines here and make a box. And sometimes it's called a box and whisker plot because we actually will then connect up the box with the dots and those are what we use to call the whiskers. Then the last thing to do of course is to write a title for this. So a title for this might be Babe Ruth's. home runs. And then we might put uh, down at the bottom um, maybe a scale, uh, a label of maybe number of home runs. Um, you will notice that this distribution seems to be skewed to the lower values because we got this one way down here. Most of the rest of them seem to be up here. So except for this one weird value way down here, he seemed to be very consistent. These numbers are all very close to each other. This upper one isn't that far away from the other, the rest of the data value. So he actually seems to be very consistent, except for this really weird data value down here. Um, if you want to know more about that, you can look at your history of baseball to find out that they actually changed kind of the way they played baseball um, after this season, and that might be why it was so low. And that's how you do um, a five number summary, an interquartile plot, and a box and whisker plot. Interquartile range and a box and whisker plot. Sorry about that.